What's going on? It's Kaz from Crashback Gaming, and yeah, we're in some more uh, Resident Evil 7. No, we're, seriously though, we're gonna, I think we're gonna finish this one today. My son's asleep with his, my son and wife are taking a nap, so hopefully he'll stay, Ooh. hopefully he'll stay asleep. And yeah, so if we get to, we might push this one along. Might go an hour. Hey, what? Target acquired. E necrotoxin destroys cells of any subject based on the E series bioweapon model, used only for disposal of E series assets. This toxin must first be stimulated before use. Doing this by placing the sample of the E series cells into the neurotoxin necrotoxin container. Hey, I think we got that right. This is what we're going to use to destroy Eevee. E necrotoxin. Here we go, some more reading. Oh my god, seven pages. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of the several concepts of the company Nexbus. Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative. We're going to take the assistance of HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants in mass. For the minimal, minimal direct contact, Next Bass was later found folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project remarkably, uh, markedly different from conventional weapons is the ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements to willing servants. Since the effectively, this effectively eliminates the cost of not only POW handling but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the, and even organization chomping at the bit to get on board the project would never have existed where not for the discovery in blank of blank the remark remarkability remarkably progressed a vicriant evolution fungus that we commonly term as mutamocyte the fabrication method of method for each bioweapon was to introduce the Munocyte genome to the a pre stage for human embryo and from cultivation in controlled environmental over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The re resultant organism was referred to as candidate specimen and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty series A through D to the perfected E series. Common appearance was selected for the bioweapons that of a roughly 10 year old girl to ensure. East of blending with an urban refugee population. The first E series specimen named Evelyn has proven capable of secreting secreting the mutamocyte from her tissue at will. It is also a note that Evelyn's mutamocyte imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced to a host organism. So have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control. But the working theory is that the vector is similar to the auto-inducer pheromones used for curum sensing in Pseudonomas bacteria. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is a hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn. Though she is not in fact there, or even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. <sighs> Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stage of infection reveal that at first, the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. Psychological shock this induces helps people helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect. <sighs> By the time mental control is achieved, the immunomocyte infection has progressed throughout the body cells, so the body... something. Yeah, we just found out in the last episode that freaking the old lady is Evelyn. 
Oh my god, more reading. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organi organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organism is used to hear, strictly speaking, they are su superior superorganisms formed through countless mycelia. What's important though is that these would be a strong survival instinct and would defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness is remarkable strength. Yet yeah, a remarkable strength gives them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms. Oh, sorry about that. The molded, made of mold, and also molded as in shaped. The name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing blank on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produced a unique fungicidal serum. Administrating the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be t will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. <coughs> so much reading in this episode. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to blank would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we know as the E necrotoxin. It's blank in, in even tiny amounts. It's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme of her mental, mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited for blending into social groups than a lone girl. It's true. On the other hand, while well, a sentimental sort might suggest she's making up for the perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing, a parent's love. Yeah, uh, here we go. We did find out in the last one, though, that Evelyn is the old lady. Oh my god, there's a safe spot right here. Flame rounds, you say? Maybe time to make some flame rounds. There's a safe spot here the whole time. Dang. Gotta be near the end of the game, right? Gotta be. Let's see here. What can we put up? Probably need to keep that. We can put this up. Put this handgun bullets up. I'm gonna keep those just in case we need them. I don't think we're gonna get the flamethrower out. The yeah, this should be this. This should be an okay setup. Should get the. Why not? Because we can make some more flame rounds too. Oh my gosh. for dicey situations. There we go. I say there's gotta be something over here. Here we go. 
I don't know. I don't like the looks of this. So, like, what if Ethan's just been hallucinating this all along? Because I said... Oh, are you serious right now? No way that killed me. I was at I was at like over half health, wasn't I? Okay. Oh crap, that means I can get all that stuff back out. That was unexpected. Oh no, it starts me back right here. Yet. You gotta be shitting me. Just die, dude. Oh my gosh, now we're out of shotgun shells. Might be something up here. I'm so confused, which way is the way to go? Heal up the fool. Maybe me some shotgun shells. Oh my gosh, dude, we're running out of ammo. while we're out of shotgun shells we could. How many shotgun shells was that?
you serious? Oh boys. Things are about to get rough. This is about to get real rough. Wait a minute. You gotta be shitting me. Dude, this is so... Oh my god, dude, that fight was so stupid. for this fight. So aim for the legs, you might trip it up. Oh. Yeah, but one of them's super huge though. Yeah, we're gonna go long in this one. I feel like we're right at the end. Super low on ammo. Yeah, I bet we can run past them and get up that ladder. Now we're gonna fight them. Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh, dude. another trip around for it. Oh my god. Thank you. 
That's one down. Everything. No machine gun, no shotgun. It's got to be it, though, right? We have to fight anything else. We're in trouble. Oh, we're like in serious trouble. Maybe I should have got the burner. Okay. doing this. Well, at least we got some machine gun. Alright. No, we're, we're, we're doing this. We're going. Her chair. There's that creepy doll from the beginning. Oh, wait, we're here. Oh, shit, that scared me. makes sense. Remember we saw this at the beginning and I was like, oh. Now it all makes sense. Now it's time for us to have our fight with Evelyn, huh? Oh, this brings back memories. Yeah, those memories. We're infected. It's okay. Oh, no, don't make me relive me. this. I know you didn't mean to hurt so, everyone. Him, mommy. Oh. oh. Get out of my face, little girl. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. So why are we having to go through all this again? Help. 
There's a jump scare coming, isn't there? Does this really happen? Is this for real happening? supposed to be doing here I'm so confused let's just go back down now What are we supposed to be doing here? I don't think we can die. Stairs are gone. I'm not shooting at these things. I can't get close to her. How am I supposed to get close to her? Okay. Okay, I got it now. I was being dumb dumb. You gotta sprint. Pause it and hit a uh yep. like I said there'll be a cut right here. There'll be a little cut right there. to go ahead and just save what footage I already had. 
Alright, it was the old lady. Giant face monster. Uh, another second way you're supposed to kill her. What the hell is going on here? What in the heck? Yo, uh, help! She's right here. We can't even move, we're just stuck here on our back. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, we're just gonna get murdered. What the hell is going on here? Can't do anything. Oh, we were supposed to shoot our hand. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. We're about to die. Wait, what is that? Anything? Get the gun. What is this? Use it. What is this? This is like some kind of special gun. Yeah, this gun's what's up. Yeah, what kind of gun is this? What kind of gun was that? Because I, I wanted the whole game. Hey, Ethan, can we not just lay here and get covered up by a Evelyn rubble? That's got to be the end, right? It's gotta be the end. So that cut was probably unnecessary. Yeah, who are these guys? Who, who are these guys? They're super kitted out. I'm Redfield. Glad we found you. Redfield, are you Chris? Because I know I've already been spooled with Chris's and then knows Ethan because I've seen the trailer for Resident Evil 8. Yeah, I did that. Man, yeah, what's going so long? I fucked up this whole shit. Uh, excuse my language. I messed up all this. Me, uh. Yeah. Wait. You made it. Did I give her that? Did I gonna put that strong chemical fluid in her? Did I? Yeah, we we did it, Mia. 
Yeah, but I'm so confused. Wait a minute. They say that when you see that logo. Another opens. Is that the Umbrella Corporation the logo? And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. Yeah, the poor Baker family. That thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. What the hell? Evelyn's dead. Chris works for Umbrella These now. Here to clean up the mess. They just come to terms with losing Mia. But well, we found her. We got her, dude. Put all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens. Yeah, something goes on because I mean we've all seen the Resident Evil 8 trailer. Chris something happens and Chris drags Ethan away or something. Wait a minute. What is this? Is this the end credits? Yeah, this is pretty dope. Alright, so let's talk about ending thoughts on the game I love the game it was amazing it was really great and I'll say this as someone who's been a Resident Evil 4 fanboy for a long time this is definitely taking that spot from Resident Evil 4 it's so good I mean it had a great mix of of horror and action there were parts that got me and I'm not a I'm not a big scare guy cuz I, mean, I love scary movies and I love scary shit there, there were a couple of you know spots that got me pretty good this was just good I mean I could see, I've seen where people say there's not very much enemy variety and stuff like that, but I don't have a problem with that. The game's not long. I mean, I think we beat it in like, what, eight, a little over eight hours? So, for that, I think it had plenty of variety of enemy. I mean, if it was like a 30 hour game, yeah, it could have had a lot more variety. But I mean,. You know that we were contained to a house, a guest house, a lake house, a couple of houses and uh, I mean there was the boat and the mine but I mean there wasn't much going on. There she is. I did not suspect the old lady at the beginning of the game. I thought she was just another member of the Baker family. So, uh, yeah. So, we'll... We'll talk back again. Uh, after the... Well, we'll talk a little bit, and then I'll put a cut in right here. And if there's anything after there, you'll hear more from me. Well, that's my assessment. It's probably my favorite Resident Evil game I've played so far. I haven't played Resident Evil 2 Remake or Resident Evil 3 Remake that much. Played them a little bit. Like I said, Resident Evil 4 was huge when I was younger, and that's what I liked. But this is taking that spot from me. I highly suggest you play this one for yourself. Because, I mean, for 20 bucks, full price is a great price, but it's always on sale. And so you can always get it for like between five and ten dollars. I don't know if I'm gonna play the Not a Hero DLC. Probably will. I probably it'll probably be a few weeks from now after we've this 
Time to get some other stuff rolling. And yeah. Man, this has been such a good game. But anyways. Uh, if there is an after credit scene, there'll be a cut. Well, if there's not an after credit scene, I'm gonna do an outro, and you'll see, you'll hear it. If there is an after credit scene, there'll be a cut right here. All right, guys, this is for if there was not an after credit scene. This is the outro. Like I've always preached, pick up the game for yourself. If you enjoy the game, like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you like about the series, help me improve. This game was just so much fun, and I've already talked about that, so all I really need you guys to do is spread some love, spread some positivity. I hit my microphone thing, so there's some whoa, 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 man, I'm sorry. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you around.